Right, what I'd now like to consider are two reactions, and let's assume they are both gas phase reactions, um, and they look as follows. We have react uh, reactant A reacting to B, and the equilibrium constant at the temperature we're interested in is at, as 1, and then we have A that reacts with B further to make 2C. The equilibrium constant for this reaction is 4. And what we'd like to do is work out what the equilibrium conversion is or composition is given, say, that we're feeding in A and we're starting off with 10 moles of A. Right. Notice now we have that A, B, and C are related, but in a complicated way because there are two reactions happening. Mathematically, that means there are two variables, and what we will do is say that the number of moles of A that react via this first reaction is extent 1, and the number of moles of A that react via the second reaction is extent 2. We can then relate the number of moles of A, B, and C in the reaction as follows. Number of moles of A is what we start off with, which we said is 10, minus the moles of A that react via reaction 1, minus E1, minus E2, which is the moles of A that react via reaction 2. We don't start off with any B, so the number of moles of B we have is what we form in reaction 1, which is extent 1, minus what we use up in reaction 2, which is minus extent 2. And the number of moles of C is 2 times the moles of A that react via reaction 1. So it's 2 times extent 2. We can now write our two reaction equilibrium. And remember the way reaction equilibrium work is each reaction must be at equilibrium. So the first reaction, and we're going to again, as remember we said we're assuming gas phase, the equilibrium constant K1 is the partial pressure of products B over the partial pressure of A, and that is the mole fraction of B, which is the number of moles of B over an N total, times the pressure of a P naught, the reference pressure, which is always one atmosphere, divided by the mole fraction of A, which is the number of moles of A divided by N total, again times P over P naught. Now, what we can see, and I'll, this is because moles of gas, uh, moles of reaction are conserved in this, N total cancels. P of a P naught cancels, and so we simply end up with the number of moles of product over the number of moles of reactant. We can take our expressions we have here. The number of moles of B is E1 minus E2. The number of moles of A is 10 E1 minus E2, and substitute there. And remember, we said the equilibrium constant was 1, and I've substituted it there. So that is my equation A. I can again do the same thing for the second reaction, or similar thing, I should say. And so for the second reaction, I have the equilibrium constant for that reaction, K2. And again, moles are conserved, so I'm going to just simplify it. It's moles of product squared, C squared, divided by moles of A times moles of B. I substitute these terms I have here for A, B, and C into here. And this is what I get, and it's equal to 4, which is my value of my equilibrium constant. So notice I have two equations here in two unknowns, E1 and E2, and I can solve them. What I'm going to start with is this first equation over here, this part over here, and I'm going to rewrite it. If I do that, I notice something quite simple, and that is that I multiply the denominator by 1 there, and so I end up with E1 minus E2 is equal to 10 minus E1 minus E2, the E's two cancel, and so I'm just left with 2E1 is equal to 10, or E1 is equal to 5. So in this case, I was able to solve for E1 fairly easily. I now need to look at equation 2, and I can substitute this value of E1 in here, and then try and solve for E2. So let's have a look at how we do that. Taking that equation, K2, which is 4, is equal to 4e2, I've squared, I've multiplied that out, 10 minus e1, which is 5 minus e2, times e1 minus e2, so that's 5 minus e2, and I simplify that, this becomes 5 minus e2, so I have 5 minus e2 squared. What I can now do is multiply the denominator uh, with the left-hand side, and if I do that, 
I get that um, multiplying this. Um, I get that 25 minus 10 e2 plus e2 squared, and I've just cancelled the 4 here. It's just equal to e2 squared. The e2 squareds cancel, and so I end up with e2 is 25 over 10, or 2.5. I can then work out my number of moles at equilibrium, and what I find is substituting the values that I have for e1, remember which is 5, and e2, which is 2.5, I get that e n a is 2.5, NB is 2.5. Does that make sense? Yes, because what I've got is the number of moles of A over the number of moles of B must be equal to 1, or NA must be equal to NB, which is correct. And then if I substitute to NC, I get a value of 5. So um, the maths can get messy, but the concept is fairly simple. If I have more reactions, I would just incorporate more and more reaction equilibrium. I would have more and more extents. Uh, it gets harder and harder to solve. Um, but the idea stays the same.